Okay, go ahead. Hi, I'm going to demonstrate how to do a needle decompression of the chest here today. This is used for trauma patients who have a tension pneumothorax primarily or question of tension pneumothorax. So you have to have a patient who is beginning to decompensate. Either you have an x-ray that shows you that they have the, the tension pneumo or you have clinical indications and you don't think that you can wait to get a chest x-ray. Now, the first question is, what do you use to needle the chest? The most important thing to do is to pick something that will reach into the thoracic cavity. And these days, a standard IV uh, starter site, like an 18-gauge gel co or something to that effect, is just not long enough. They tend to be one and a half to two inches long, and they may not completely reach into the chest. So what I recommend is actually something this size. It looks like a nail. It's a 10-gauge, four-inch catheter. The other advantage to this is that it is very, very stiff. And typically the smaller 18 gauge catheters or uh, smaller, even 16 gauge, once they go into the chest, they tend to bend. And so they lose their effectiveness almost as soon as they go into the chest. So we're going to switch sides here. And we have a uh, trauma man, so which is a demonstration unit here, and it shows the, the chest. Now, the optimal insertion site for this is the second intercostal space, and we will pretend that this patient has a right tension pneumothorax. So you've got the right side of the chest. What you should first do is just take one moment to splash some betadine or some other, other disinfecting solution onto the chest over the area, and then use your fingers to feel for the clavicle, and then move down. You'll feel next will be the second rib right below that, and the space, the soft spot right below that second rib will be the second intercostal space. And you will want to put that in the midclavicular line, which also tends to be where the nipple is as well. So it will be here, and it's oriented with the nipple right here. So all you do is take the catheter and find your spot once it's sterilized, and then push. Now you have to make sure that you're holding the catheter onto the hub. It's very easy at this point if you just push this where it'll start to slide off and bend. So you've got your spot, start to push, and then as soon as it enters the chest, you should get a great rush of air. And once you've got that, then it's time to slide the catheter off of the needle itself and leave it in the chest. Now, you will know that you've succeeded in two ways. One, um, you can see a huge gush of air come out of there, and a lot of times there will be some spray. So it is very important that you have your universal precautions on, have your face protected with a mask, uh, and your eyes shielded as well. The other way, the more definitive way that, to know that this has worked, is that the patient suddenly gets better. If they had a tension pneumothorax that was creating a uh, hypotension or other evidence of shock, then this will immediately take care of it. So that's how you do this. As soon as this goes in, however, your next step always has to be to follow it up with a chest tube. Uh, you have converted this tension pneumothorax to an open and potentially complete pneumothorax in this patient. So they are not going to be able to breathe using this side of their chest very well. So you now need to take a few moments to get set up and insert a chest tube. That is uh, the entire technique for needling the chest for needle decompression of a tension pneumothorax.